As a proud member of the Radio Arts Foundation Board, I can honestly say that indeed, Collaborator is what the station is all about. While most likely will always be known as the classical music station, Classic 107.3 truly offers so much more. A number of years ago, when we lost our beloved KFUO FM Classic 99, a group of us got together as we were determined to create a radio station to be owned by us, the St. Louis community. Thus, as owners, we're able to initiate the programs that best showcase our entire region. Specifically, we're here to shine the spotlight upon all of the arts, culture, and education throughout our community. We have a great facility here in St. Louis, here in Clayton. We had some space and I said, why not keep it simple? Why force them to go out and negotiate a lot of leases and rents when the Centene Foundation and Centene was able to do this and support the station in a meaningful way with a permanent home? When I was asked in 2020, like if I ever thought about doing a radio show, I was like, yes. And I said, well, what would you call it? And I said, Black and Beyonce. And that way we can cover all of these all of these different genres of music. When I first started the show, like I think like the second week of taping my show, the insurrection happened. And I did a show called The Soundtrack of January 6th. I tell the story of how through the music, we went through all of these different emotions. We started with Lovely Day, and then um, as we go on, it goes to This Is America by Childish Gambino. And then we talk about, um, you know, a prayer for the USA so we can come back together and, and bounce back from this because this is not who we are as a country. That show then went ahead and it went on and won um, a Missouri Broadcast Award for the best opinionated show for 2021. And I was super excited about that because I wasn't even expected to be nominated um, that alone win. So very grateful that the station believed in my vision of what I was trying to tell and allowed that show to air and then not only air, it won an award. So Classic 107.3 was an amazing partner to all of us music organizations during the pandemic. They actually traveled places, they reached out to the community, just they followed us in a community where we played a lot of outdoor concerts and outdoor events when essentially we could not present regular programming on our stage because of COVID restrictions. So really we command and applaud the extraordinary spirit of the organization in truly being present and anchoring our community in music and finding audiences throughout the St. Louis region. Tennessee Williams' language is beautiful. It's one of the reasons we honor him. I bet his plays would work really well on the radio. We had really good listenership, and I believe that we gained a new audience that now has come to us live uh, who hadn't before. And I believe a lot of it had to do with our exposure on Classic 107. What's important about that station is they are the voice for the arts in St. Louis. And you can hear all different perspectives of the arts, not just musical arts, but all kinds of arts. And within music, lots of different types of music. So it's a way for us to get out to the public who may not be able to actually get to concerts. Music education is a wonderful vehicle for people to really understand themselves and the, the world around them and just to appreciate the beauty of music itself. Having these programs available through Classic 107.3 makes it available to anyone at any time. I mean, you can you can go online, you can listen on the radio. It, there are no restrictions. It's, uh, it's available to everybody at all times. So it is a platform for us. It also, it's a, it's a way for us to collaborate with so many different partners. We've worked with uh, many different schools and, and educators. We've worked with community organizations. Whenever we do a program, it is always um, there's always a key person in that cultural community, whether it's India or Africa or Bosnia, that we're able to collaborate with. And uh, it just brings it to life. It makes it authentic and, and, uh, and beautiful. We're so grateful to the Arts and Education Council for this very special recognition. Thank you.